Yo, what's up? It's your boy Pac Jr. And what I got for you guys today is three things that pro players are doing from our film analysis that you should be doing. I thought they were pretty interesting, unique stuff. So I thought these three things are three things that a lot of pro players do. And the ones that are very, very successful are the ones that generally do these three things. Now, Madden 20 plays slightly different than Madden 19 and previous years. Previous years, you can always sit in one defense all the time. Now, we're starting to learn that you can't do that. And guys early on were doing that and then just getting destroyed. Not destroyed, but they were getting gashed on the run and complaining. Well, now you have to have a lot of different toolboxes or you gotta have a toolbox and be able to take different tools to help you. So I got two defensive tips that pro players are doing and then one offensive tip that pro players are doing. So we're gonna come out in a popular run play. I'm gonna show you guys another way that you can stop the run that I thought was really good. Again, every, the way you approach every run or different styles of run, your defense is going to change because of that. So let's come out and halfback stretch. Now, what I want you to know is what pro players are doing is they're starting to put their best players in positions where people are going to run the most. So, for example, let's take um, we'll have JJ Watt on this right end. We're going to have Jadavian Clowney on this right tackle spot. And we have great block shedders to the right. So why do we want them to the right? Well, in most situations, most quarterbacks are right handed. So you want your best block shedding, your best defensive linemen tacklers on the right side of the field and then you can take care of the left side of the field so it's very important that you are putting your best players on the side that your opponent is probably going to want to run on now i haven't done too much research with the texans i just know that you know jj watt is here and clown is here i want to show you i'm going to put clowny over on this side all right, let's put him here. And I wanna show you, we're gonna have Clowney and JJ Watt over on this side here. And let's come out and let's say, uh, pinch dog to press. Now, if people run the ball, they can still run the ball. But what I notice players are doing now is they're taking like Clowney, they're just moving him out slightly, take this player out, move him out slightly. Now, if you guys don't know, let's say I take Clowney and I move him out. If I just hit the B button, it'll put you to the other side for then you to come here and then move him out there instead of having to click all the way through like that. Now you're gonna stand on this left uh, outside, this left inside linebacker and watch how this progresses with the run. You're gonna notice now, because we had Clowney on that outside, it's not like we're necessarily doing all these crazy concepts to stop the run, but we're just putting our best players in the best possible position to make a play. And look at this player here, because he was spread out, He's coming in almost unblocked in case someone tries to go into the cutback lane. You're trying to fill. You're obviously trying to fill here, right? That guard's trying to block you. And you can see that Clowney just throw, blows this up. So nothing crazy, just something that pro players are now doing is they're putting their best players in the best position to be, oops, to be able to block shed. Boom. So you can see right there, even though we didn't get the block shit that we wanted, I still was able to blow this up. And notice how we're not even pressing. Let's move Clowney. Let's move him here. Here it is. Let's do this one more time. Okay, he broke. He broke a big one. But that was, you know, him being in that little lane there. But let's try that one more time. Here we go. And then we're filling that through there. But yes, are they gonna be blocked? Yeah, but you put them in great positions to not be blocked. If you get what, I mean, to block shit, if you guys get what I'm saying. Spreading them out and putting them in the best position. Now, if you wanna be extra safe, you can use our safety. And now if we use a safety, well, look at Clowney just blew that up by himself there. But you can see, you know, you're gonna be able to have some more success. So here we go, let's move them out. You see how quick that was there? Boom, you can move these guys in. Again, this is cover two. I was just experimenting. We can do um, we can do cover we can do cover four if we want to. We'll stretch this way. Boom. I mean, I was kind of there in position to make a play on that. And again, I'm not even using a safety. If I really wanted to be safe, okay. If I really wanted to be safe, I'm just gonna move these guys out here. I can come out in some cover four quarters and then be here to then help make a play and user this safety and you can see jj watt shed it right there on the right side 
Again, using a safety is so much better, but you saw that just by moving these guys out and having better block shedders, we're getting, you know, that one critical stop that we need. Here it is, come through there. Look at that, he blows it up there. So what players are doing is they're not necessarily scheming or doing anything crazy. They're just moving guys around to put them in the best position possible to have success. Okay, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is what pro players are doing right now let's go into a very popular way which is why out and we're going to come out in dollar dollar being obviously the most popular play right now whenever you come in dollar you do not want to be uh you want to not have the auto flip on let's come out and cover three cloud show two which again is a very popular formation now a big thing that pro players are doing guys is that they're starting to have you know purples on the field to help with things now one thing you guys got to know is Pro players are moving people around into better positions more than ever before. Now, you do want to make your defenses look the same. But for example, guys will move him here just to cover the middle of the field. Move him out just slightly, right, to cover anything vertical. Again, a big concept this year is a lot of players are using safeties. Why are people using safeties? So that they could try to blow up the run. Usually, you want to be on the other side. Um, you can see right there, we got blocked. Usually, if you're going to use her a safety, you want to be to the side of the running back. Uh, let me move him here just slightly out if you stand a little bit further back I believe you're gonna be able to blow this up right here. You guys can see all right We got to be if we want to blow this up We got to be on the opposite side, but I want to just show you how purples are so let's go ahead and show you these purples real quick again Let's just move them out slightly bring him down. Okay, here we go Boom, we can use her a safety. You got a cloud there, a three wreck, you got a hook. You really got a lot of the field for coverage. You know, sacks taken care of. Let's just run this play as is. Okay. You can see that Y was getting open here. Let me go ahead and show you the replay. You can see that Y, here it is. Right, it's getting, it takes a while to get open. You're hoping that sheds come in, right? You got the cover three taken care of there. Why is we move this guy towards the middle to help take care of this right here? So now what pro players are doing is saying is this, right? This is just a small tip. Pro players are saying, hey, who is your most dangerous threat in this defense, right? Let me flip the play real quick. Who is your most dangerous threat? Well, your most dangerous threat is this guy, is Thomas. So we're gonna take a player and man him up. Right, we're gonna take a player, we're gonna man him up, and we're, we do not want we do not want our opponent to beat us with this corner route. Right, so tip number one that pro players are doing is they are saying, okay, what is your number one read? What is the thing that you love to do in any formation? Well, the big the biggest thing that people love to do in this formation is throw this corner route from Thomas. It's the number one read people like to make. So what we got to do is we gotta man that up. Boom, and we got a cloud there. Okay, now you can use her, this safety here. You could use her, you know, this safety here, which is in a deep pad, but that's gonna change things for you. So you can, if you want to, put him in a purple, Y, uh, left stick to the right, put him in a purple, and now you can use her, this guy here, right? Now, if you want to, you can move him, stand over here. We can do a lot of different things. We can go inside zone here. You're gonna be able to blow that up, or again, you got guys in good position. But you guys can see, we're in cover three cloud. Let me flip it real quick. Let's just man him up with him there. Boom, 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 there it is. Here we go. So, let me put him in a spot so you can see the field. Look at this field, it's really covered up really nicely. Let's block him here. Let's run this play now. Now, obviously, he's not the best man-to-man -man corner, but you guys can see that we got him manned up. I know this doesn't look like it, but this cloud is a little bit of a bait route because you can click onto him and then make the pick. I'll try to do it real fast. Okay, here we go. Let's run this play. There you guys see, oh, it was really tough, but you got a cloud there. You got him manned up. We're going to take, we're going to get rid of the most important route. And that's what everyone's doing in Madden right now is they're saying what formation are you in and what is your most critical route that you're going to make or you know is a big staple of any offense. That Thomas route is who we need to take care of and then we'll scheme around that there. So it's just being a little bit smart and saying who is the guy who can cause me the most damage? Let me take care of him. Now, 
try putting the route cam on him real quick because i do th this corner route will get open let me just show you real quick right over the corner so this guy can run a crossing route he can run a corner route so what again what a lot of pro players are doing right what they want to do is they're going to say okay i'm going to man him up with him like such because i know he's my most dangerous threat so in gun trip setting i'm a man him up here i might move him down a little bit further down here to help guard any crossing or streaks by number 10 we got a purple there we got a three wreck here and then we can use her this guy here if we want to and then we can if we want we can you know go down this way and then guard over the top you know so let's go ahead and run this play with this streak you know fake down here boom come out here help guard anything over there i forgot to put him on his streak but you guys can see a big thing players are doing is they're saying what is your most dangerous threat in this formation we know the most dangerous threat is that there. The biggest tip here, guys, is understanding what is someone's most popular route. What is the route that they want to utilize? And a part of that is practice, right? You got to go and get practice in the game to figure out what is the formation and then what do they really want to do out of this. And once you do that, then you're going to be able to say, okay, what can we, what do they have? what exactly do they have to beat me right like what formation do they have that they can use right now to beat me what is it that they want to do let's go ahead and get into tip number three guys which is an offensive tip for you guys and that is this right here so we're going to come out let's say bunch for now all right we'll go ahead and come out and bunch let's go out and maybe say uh flanker drive i'm just making sense of something let's say it's third and 20 or second and 20 right guys are either gonna blitz they're they are protecting the sticks so you know guys are protecting the sticks they're doing all these different things to prevent you from bombing them you know what i'm saying so what pro players are doing is something really clever what pro players are doing is they're putting guys on wheels they're getting themselves they're saying it's second and 20. I know I can't get the first down on this second down play. I'm not going to go for the big gain. Almost similar to house rules. Your best bet is let me pick up 8, 9, 10 yards here. And when I pick up 8, 9, 10 yards, then I'll try to pick up another 8, 9, 10 yards. And now, all of a sudden, it's third and four, right? Or fourth and four, I should say. And you are in a much better position to make that play if you absolutely need it. So, for example, let me just, you know, run something like, oops run something like this here boom oh my god i clicked the wrong button i know thomas got wide open there let me go ahead and run that one more time here let's say it's second and 20 like i told you second and 20 you got some little concept zig route etc i'm just showing you at a bunch i don't have my playbook so i can't really call the plays that i want but we're here boom there it is we just picked up eight yards now when it was second and 20 now it's third and what third and 13 third and 12 now that now that it's third and 12 now you can come out and run pretty much any play that you want because now you are going to be in like i said 100 percent you're going to be in a very advantageous position so here we go boom there we go now it's fourth and five now you can run anything now the whole playbook is open for you to run you can run any of your favorite concepts whatever it is you want to run and you're going to be like i said in pretty dang good position that's a freaking glitchy route you're going to be in really good position to then kind of you know force your opponent to just make a play and try to guess right but that's especially if you know you are that's especially if you are in a position where, hey, I need to pick this up. I need to pick this, uh, the first down up. It's, you know, my last drive of the, the second half. There's 40 seconds left. There it is, guys. Tip number one, put your best players in the best position possible. Clowny, if you got the best block shedders, if you got Von Miller, put them to the right side if your quarterback is right-handed because they're going to be faster handing that ball off. Defensively, if you see a formation you want to take away the most in important individual the guy who is going to bomb you the the best so that would probably be in gun trips tight end the middle receiver he can run a uh, cover three beater he can run a crossing he can run a corner let's take care of that play and then now make the opponent have to drive down the field if we're in tight offset you want to take care of that corner route right so you can try to get creative but that's your main job is taking care of that corner route and if he's still beating you then you're going to just roll coverage to the other side of the field and you're going to take care of that corner route so that's pretty much uh, how you can 
can play this game, guys. And number three is taking your underneath routes. Make sure you're okay taking your, you know, eight yard uh, wheel route, your, you know, baby in route, things that's going to give you eight, nine yards to put you in a really good position to get on that fourth down. It's going to put you in a position to pick up that fourth down a lot more manageably. Um, is that a word? But it's going to allow you to put yourself in a situation where you're not third and 40, right? That's what I think a lot of new people do to Madden or people who are impatient is They'll try to go for the big play on second and 20, and then they'll give up. You got to take the underneath routes and slowly work your way. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Take care. Capiche?